Welcome back guys, how are you all doing? My name is Marx, this is Marxcraft, and today we're going to be making some progress on this village here. Alright guys, so since last episode, I have tried to do as little around here as possible. Now obviously there's one or two things that you'll be able to see straight away that I've done. Um, for example, I've replaced the temporary sort of area placer fences for a more it's not the permanent structure but it's a better outline of what we're expecting to be here so and uh, this would be exactly where the the farm the, the wall of the farm is going to go and um then there's this one here as well now as well as that a chicken stuck in the wall how bizarre and um, since doing that as well I also kind of built the wall up a little bit um, and there's good reason to this so this is going to be um, kind of a little enclosed so like a, a bit like it was carved out by the settlers um, but at the same time not and I think the best way to show you this actually might be if I oh that's good if I actually pull her up with scaffolding so if we pull her up just so then you can actually see what we're going to be looking at and you'll get an idea for what else I've been doing now this this took quite a while um, because it's a case of doing it getting high looking at the shape seeing how it is and that was that bit there alone was quite difficult because it was diagonal um and i fell off a lot but that took quite a while and then from there i kind of came down this this path here to the shape of of the way it's going to go and i decided that what we're going to do is going to meet here it's going to kind of bow across um, and then build back up over this way. Uh, so you're, what you'll actually do is either way you, whichever way you come in, you're coming in above and you have to work, you have to come down and it leads to the front of the village here. And this is going to be the only way in unless you want to jump off a cliff face. Um, so yeah, that's, that's the idea, but I need to build it all the way up, all the way around and properly lay out the, the cliffs. So these are going to go higher. That's possibly going to be a bit of a drop off as it comes back around here. Um, and then there's just going to be a sheer cliff onto the ocean back there. Uh, so this is all going to build up and that's about Y80 something. I don't know the exact exact one, um, but yeah, that's that's partly what I've uh, I've been doing here, um, and then I've been to be honest, I've, I've been over at the the farming area quite a bit uh, because I set up some sheep for shearing, and so I've got one of every sheep and then two two white two black. I uh, don't know why black. Um, brown would have made more sense because I might be using brown for the roads and things like that just to carpet just to give a little bit of extra height difference um, I've yet to finalize on a road design so there is that but yeah that's that's pretty much all I got up to since last episode I brought over it isn't it isn't a chest monster it, it's probably going to get that way but it's it's essentially a shulker box full of things I might need for this project so cobble obviously i do for at least the outline of these walls and then to build this up i mean i had stone which is why i use those um but as well there's um there's quite a bit actually can be as a base for cobble so I like the base of, of this as well in fact i can show you something else i did so the wells not just I mean, it's not 100% finished because I need to add in a 
uh, a cauldron for the bucket. And the reason I've got an ender pearl here, you'll see in just a moment, I suppose I could have used scaffolding. But down the bottom here, and we're going to need torches. There we go. So I actually dug it out as a bit of a cave. So this is where the water is, right at the bottom of the well. So this is their water supply. And uh, just so it's not just a straight hole down, like if you were to look down, you'd see something a little bit more, kind of. Uh, let's see if I can actually get out with this now. Probably not. Oh, it did. Awesome. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much all I've done productivity wise here. I did quite a bit on my creative server, so I've got a copy of, of the world. That's really, it's just, no. Um, yes, yeah, so I spent quite a bit of time over there, mostly practicing how to kind of do these cliffs because I've never done them before, not properly at least. So, um, you see, I spent a quite, quite a bit of time doing that and then just, I mean, that's why I designed, that's why I came up with that as well. It's not my design. It's something I saw on Pinterest and then I kind of just adapted it a little bit more, changed the roof because I didn't like how it was. It was, I think, two trapdoors and a slab and it just looked kind of plain. I mean, this isn't anything special. That's better, actually. Um, yeah, that's much better. So this isn't anything particularly fancy, but it's, um, it's a bit more than what was there in the first place. Uh, so one of the main things we actually need to do here, there's no way into this, is there? Um, to do here today is we need to detail this thing out a bit more, which is also why I've got the andesite the stone and the diorite and I've got my concrete I think yes I did so I'm gonna go and grab my concrete I think it's over at the farm um just because that's where I was when I made it um and I will come back over here and we will start on uh just texturing this little fella a little bit and uh yeah, I'll come back to you then. So see you soon. So guys, since I'm over here, it kind of made sense just to show you what I'd done with the sheep farm. So this is it in front of me here. Um, as I said, one of each color. Um, it's not ordered in any particular way. They're kind of just thrown in. And then one extra of white and black. So it's actually really straightforward to put together as well. It's literally just that, I mean, the hardest part is getting the sheep in, but we've got an observer just here with a dispenser full of shears on top and a piece of redstone behind. Now, underneath, we've then got a hopper minecart which feeds into a hopper and that feeds into a chest. Now, the way it works is the observer detects the um, change in the block. So when it turns to dirt and at that point it activates Powers the dispenser, the dispenser clips the sheep, sheep gets sheared, wool goes into the chest down here. And yes, that is how long I've been here, just doing random things, mostly trading with those guys or trying to get the correct books with those guys. Getting there, still not there. So yeah, it's, it's pretty straightforward, fairly simple little setup. Um, it's the same, yeah, I believe it's the same design in terms of um, as small as it is because it's only one, two, three, three blocks wide, four, I guess, actually. Um, but then sharing the redstone here is compacted it a little bit more, so it's not as big as it could be. But yeah, that's uh, that's the sheep farm. Uh, it turns out I don't have any of the white concrete. It must have been um, before, because I had a, a corruption error happen here and the chunks all reset. Um, it may have been in a chest at that point and I had to load it up from a backup. 
and it will have been before I made it. So yeah, I uh, I don't have it over here. Now this is definitely more of a chess monster, um, but there's reason for those, and we will come to that because I'll uh, I'll do it maybe on a stream if I set the Twitch up by then. But yeah, we'll uh, we'll head back to the settlers' farm. Which way is it? That way, and we'll uh, we'll start on the detailing of the village or at least the building of the village so yeah i'll see you guys there okay guys so as i've said before um these being as small as they are aren't particularly easy to detail so there's not going to be a huge amount that we do to it to be honest with you but we can make it look less plain and ordinary. Um, so if we start off with base, just getting in some different blocks just as a foundation, uh, just to change that up a little bit, just so it's less of the same, can I get? There we go. Yeah, I don't actually mind this, this connecting. It doesn't actually look too bad. I mean, it's not in a perfect world, it wouldn't, but in, it's not. So yeah, it, it's not the worst. And a bit of gravel in here as well. So because this is such a small one as well, Right, oh yeah, that's the wall. It's going to be quite um, quite plain in it, even in itself. Right, so the inside. We're looking at these three different blocks. I need to slap that roof. Um, so the main one is actually the white concrete. This is going to be our main contrasting one because it looks the most, along with the wool, something broke off then, like, that was a stupid thing to do, um, like lime, like lime plaster, that sort of thing. So, I'm just gonna go around and just randomly replace blocks. Uh, yeah, let's get polished die right here. Can't do it there, I'll leave that one as wool. Let's get one here as well. Let's get polished again. You can't even see that from the outside. It makes no difference. <clears throat> and let's stick a few here. <clears throat> there we go. So if we look from the outside now, mm, it's quite plain on this front, isn't it? Let's go like this. Again, can't see it. And probably this one actually as well. Just here. Yeah, that's looking better. It'd be a lot nicer once the inside's done. Yeah, look at that mess we created. Should have it there. Maybe I did. Did I? No. That's the other side. It's off there. Yeah. Okay, so that's the the walls done. Now, yeah, it's pretty basic. But that's the idea of this housing. It's meant to be because it's supposed to 
mimic. And I've not got any on me. Um, mimic the Middle Ages kind of style of housing, which was very basic. Could have sworn I had some. Don't tell me I've used it. Where are you? I had some birch logs. Ah, there we go. I need those. <clears throat> right, so. Oh, I don't do smooth sandstone. Hmm, I don't want these ones, I want the smooth ones. This advantage to doing it on a creative server. Uh, sounds do. We want these guys, which is smooth sandstone. Okay, how do we get that then? Do we finish normal sandstone? Okay, tell you what, I will change. I will change that off camera. We'll go with this horrendousness for now, just to get the basic side of it done. Uh, get a block in here. And yeah, because they want to be smooth as well. Oh, I really should figure this stuff out off camera first. <laughs> oh, well, oh, well. Right, so we're just going to go around and replacing random blocks. But these kind of want to, they do want to touch a little bit. A stair brick, not brick block. Um, yeah, you don't want it to be too separate from each other. They want to touch a bit. You know what? Let's have a look at this. Let's see what it's like with. Wait, let me. You know what? I think I prefer that, as opposed to this side. Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, that's much better. And let's do that one as well with sandstone. We get this. And let's get a, a look at that from distance. We will screw up. We'll do it with this. Wait, is that my silk touch? Yes. Let's have a look. Let's see what we're looking at. Hmm. I feel like it needs something here. Maybe along the bottom here. Let's just do one of them. Well done, marks. Yeah, let's do that one there. And I'll just replace it with the exact same thing. Fantastic. And these two. Have a quick sleep and look at it during the day. Right, build up again. So, most basic little house ever for our settlers here. Oh, it's not looking too bad. It'll be a lot better once this wall's done. Once we got that done, might bring it out a little 
bit here just to fill this side in. Pull it up and round. Let's see what it's like from over here. Right, let's have a look. Fantastic. And you can see I'm not used to using a high tree yet. There we go. And we're up. Should have done that in the first place. Yeah, that looks a lot better than what it was. If you go back and look at what it was at the beginning of the video compared to this, it's so much nicer. Again, still extremely basic, but it's so much better. And once the others are up and the walls and everything are done, the farmlands in, this is all complete. This is going to look epic. Can I make it? No, can't make it. I suck. I suck hard. Okay, that looks pretty good. I think that is going to be it for for this episode. Um, we'll uh, we'll look at getting the others done in a bit quicker process. Uh, I might time lapse building them up, and then we can get onto the farms because uh, we don't want to spend too long on this this village here. It is just the beginning beginnings of the world so we've got this one done we've got different ships with the other ones so hopefully have those up pretty soon uh, as i said we'll possibly time lapse them i'll uh, i'll get the outlines of these these walls done off camera so where we've got them for the other ones i want to put something up just here where this sheep is like a, a chicken coop or something just to fill this space just because it is quite empty um but we've got a few trees to get in here i don't want normal trees i want uh, custom trees in here i've got to get those as well um but yeah i think that's going to be it for this episode guys thank you for for watching uh, hopefully you enjoyed it i enjoyed myself and we will see you in the next episode. Jabba now. Bye bye.